Hey guys, I'm going to do a video on my portable solar generator. Just built this. I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, right now we're getting, let's see if I can read that, about 13, 13 watts approximately. It's uh, 18 volts. Watts up meter. Got the two 10 watt panels there. And they come in to this uh, bus bar. Bus bar is right there. And got two batteries, AGM sealed batteries, batteries, 18 amp hours. And um, I've got a Samlex 150 watt pure sine wave inverter comes out down there. And the pure sine wave inverter uses less power and doesn't hurt your electronics. So I spent a little extra on it, but I think it's worth it. I also got a MPPT charge controller as well. I got that from Alt E. It's the cheapest one I think you can buy, but it's five amps. But the MPPT uses far less power. And when you have such a small solar system and it's only 20 watts, you've got to optimize every bit of power you can get. So, you know, having an MPP charge controller goes a long way. Definitely think it's worth the extra money. I think it was about 60 bucks, maybe 70 bucks. Um, I've also got on the back a sort of back here. Got the uh, a little 12 volt. If you want to hook up a little 12 volt input. All right. So we are at. Uh, 14 watts now, almost 15 watts. It's December the 11th, and you know, there's the sun is behind those trees a little bit, but you're not going to get 20 watts if you have 20 watts worth of panels. Anybody who has a solar system knows that. If you're getting 80, 85 percent, you're doing pretty well. So I would expect to get up to maybe 17 watts on this, 18 watts, and that would be about where you'd max out. I've got two breakers there. Uh, one of those breakers goes to my inverter. One of those breakers goes to the 12 volt outlet in the back. I've also got a 5 amp fuse which goes to the charge controller. And I think the charge controller has a fuse inside of it, but I'd rather not have to take it apart if it blows. So I got my own 5 amp fuse to protect it. Use some belt straps to keep the batteries down. You can see the screw there goes through the back. And did those really tight. So when you pick it up you can carry it. Also got Velcro on the top. I got this idea from Solar Burrito. And I liked his setup. I just wanted to beef it up a little bit and get two batteries instead of one and two panels instead of one. But it's still very portable. It's about 35 pounds. I use this for um, my business. We do um, some events and showcases and stuff where there's no power. We run a computer all day. So you're not going to change the world with this setup, but it will make it run a laptop pretty much all day and be fine. Um, Anything else I can say about it? I've got sort of a shunt type thing here that I need to monitor the batteries with. I'm going to get a monitor later, but all the negatives go here. And that Bogart Trimetric is pretty pricey, so I'm trying to figure out another way to get a monitor on my batteries that's reasonably priced and accurate. But for now, I just have the WhatsApp meter telling me what's coming in. So I'm doing quite well. 15 watts for this time of year is not bad. This Genesun uh, charge controller, I wanted to give it a shot. I haven't seen too many people review it, but so far so good. Reasonably priced in PPT. So I might want to check that out. Alright, any questions? Uh, send me a message on the message below the video. Alright, thanks for watching.